don't know if I need my spec. Can I just stand Yeah, up? yeah, but... Well, uh, Returning to the ranges, some of these Falklands veterans haven't shot a pistol for more than 20 years. They're comparing the weapon systems they had in 1982 to the ones available now. The last time I fired a pistol, I left the Royal Marines in 1991. So you're talking, I don't know, 20-something years ago before I fired a pistol. But I just fired the SLR there. And some of the drills are pretty straightforward at the end of it. I think I can remember sort of removing the magazine, safety catch, cocking and that sort of stuff. I think, you know, you, lots of those things are inbred into you and you don't forget a lot of those. Soldiers from the Support Weapons School in Warminster will be travelling to the Falkland Islands next week on a battlefields tour. Now this range is not going to be like some of the ranges that you may remember. The veterans are here to share their experiences in the hope that lessons can be learned for the future British Army. Though the lads are coming back with a lot of experience from Afghanistan and Iraq and current operations, uh, some of the old basic skills uh, have sort of been lost, uh, the battle group tactics as such. And um, what we're trying to do is, again, is going back to that, that sort of start point of the experience of what we had in 1982. We're trying to reintegrate some of them lessons that have been learned over time, uh, sorry, lost over time, put them back into the training programmes. So we, we've got that development and we, we don't sort of in the future operations we go on, we don't have to relearn uh, lessons that, that we had. As well as the lessons learned, the veterans are also here to share their wartime experiences. This is so that when the soldiers are on Battlefield's tour, they've heard first-hand accounts from the men who were there in 1982. I was watching the, the a programme and the Argentinians had invaded the Falklands. Uh, I remember it because I was eating my lunch and thought, they won't ask me to go because I've just come back, been away for so long. Um, but unfortunately, somebody knocked on my door, a policeman, and said, report back to your barracks as soon as possible. I finished my dinner and jumped to my car and drove to Plymouth. I was in Exeter. And uh, where we had a warning order and say, yes, you are going to the Falklands, we don't know when um, or how are you going to get there. I was at the start of my career. I was a young platoon commander in 6 Platoon B Company 2 Para. Um, naive and wishing to get, go and engage the enemy in any war. We were young and enthusiastic as everyone should be who commands a platoon. As Slim said, it's one of the four great commands in the world because you're young, you're enthusiastic, and if you're any good, you love the men better than uh, their mothers and know them even more. Those from the Support Weapons School will leave for the Falkland Islands next week and spend 10 days there. Hannah Gurney, Forces News in Warminster.